Fire extinguishers are the second line of defense after a smoke detector and can be at the difference between a small inconvenience and a life-changing accident. In this report, GTV News finds out how to properly use and maintain the fire extinguisher. For most people, fire extinguishers are visible red cans on walls, never looked at, rarely considered. These devices end up on the wall or at the corner of the room gathering dust. These overlooked life safety devices play a vital role in keeping us safe. Fire extinguishers can reduce the potential for damage and prevent fires from spreading. They can even stop flames in no time. It is even reported that approximately 80% of all fire incidents require a portable fire extinguisher, the only firefighting tool needed to extinguish the fire. House fires, for instance, can be brought under control within the first few minutes of ignition if attended to correctly with an extinguisher that is well maintained, which can buy valuable time before the fire service arrives. In Ghana, there are basically two types of fire extinguishers, dry chemical powder extinguisher and CO2 extinguisher. The difference is that while the dry chemical powder has a long horn, the CO2 has a hose. Experts say the type of fire extinguisher that should be used depends on what burning. Using the wrong type can actually make it spread. The CO2 can be used in the kitchen as well as office. But with the dry chemical powder extinguisher, you can use it in an office, in a garage, and any other place, but you can't use that one in a kitchen because when the powder drops on food, it will render it useless. You can't eat the food anymore. And with the CO212, it is only powerful or effective in indoors than outdoors because of the wind. But what is the appropriate way to use a fire extinguisher on the spell of the moment? Assistant Divisional Officer Grade 2, Edward Tete, demonstrates. You remove this pin, you'll be pressing this thing here, and then you shoot the CO2 gas into the burning surface. It will cut the flow of oxygen to the fire, and then it will quench the fire smoothly. You don't touch the horn. You touch this place because when it is blowing out, this thing will be very cold and you can't hold it. Fire extinguishers expire, so the Ghana National Fire Service recommends having fire extinguishers charged and serviced every six months. When it is due for servicing, it will be taken to workshop and then the powder will be tested or the gas in it will be tested. And then if it needs recharging, it will be done. When the expiry day comes to and you are not charging it, when there is any problem and you lay your hand on it, it can fail you. Well, the general rule of thumb to remember is pass. Pull the pin, aim low at the base of the fire, squeeze the handle to release the contents, and sweep the nozzle while moving slowly towards the fire. Shelly Bewa, GTV News, Accra.